Welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to backfill a trench more efficiently. I know operators don't like being told how to operate. Not going to do that. All I'm going to do is give you a few tips and tricks to backfill more efficiently. When you take a mini excavator, you got the boom, you got the stick, and then you go and put the attachments on there like a thumb, coupler, bucket. And not all buckets are created equal. This is a 12 inch bucket, and you might look at a competitive 12 inch bucket and you think they're the same. They might be the same width, but the volume could very well be different. And when you look at that volume, the bigger the volume, the bigger side plate that you have on that bucket. So when you go to backfill, that bucket hits that material and it stalls out. When you've got a long stick and all the attachments on it, it's gonna make it a bit of a struggle in some cases. A short stick will certainly benefit you, but having a long stick and everything on here doesn't have to be a disadvantage if you use the tips and tricks that I'm about to show you. Okay, now the first thing we're up here in the machine, what a lot of people do is sort of rookie mistake. They reach all the way out and try and backfill from there. You wanna start from being close to the machine and work your way out. So we're gonna to come to the front of the machine Another mistake what a lot of people make is they come over the side here and they go down too much boom. And you see when the machine lifts up like that, it's not going to backfill. All you're going to do is twist the house of the machine. So you want to make sure you don't bury that down too much. You want to be just off the ground. Now, even though I'm just off the ground, I go and try and backfill. It looks like I can't do anything. We've got so much of that metal face hitting that pile of dirt and the bucket's flat on the ground. It's just not going to be very efficient to do that. So if you just curl your bucket over for the first pass, you see I curl the bucket over, okay? Now when I go swing into the material, material goes straight into the trench as easy as that. As you go do your second pass, you open it up just a little bit more and swing again into the material and into the trench it goes. And then on your last pass, you can go to your flat bucket, making sure you don't pin it to the ground and put it all into the trench so much more efficient to backfill your trench even with a long stick even with thumb bucket and coupler onto the machine so just to wrap this how-to video up it doesn't matter what size your bucket is whether you got long stick standard stick whether you got it full attachments if you use this tip you will backfill far more efficiently because when you curl that bucket over you can see that you're giving less side of the bucket to the material and the bucket will swing through and still move enough material into that trench to be very efficient. Look out for more how-to videos from the MHE product group.